All right, this Misty Minute is about voting. As a U.S. citizen, as an American citizen, as a person being proud to be an American and a part of this great and amazing country, you have the privilege to vote. You have the right to vote. People fought for years before you to let it be possible for women to vote, for black people to vote. You have the right to vote, but you also have the responsibility to vote. You need to protect your rights, whatever they are, whatever is important to you, you need to find out which candidate will help you protect your rights. Do you want a candidate that's going to put you in the dark ages and take away your freedom? Or do you want a candidate that's on your side and has all the things that you want in order, that has your T's crossed and your I's dotted? The thing is, you need to inform yourself and you need to choose what is best for you. And the responsibility on, is upon you to educate yourself. I'm not going to sit here today and tell you who to vote for. But I will tell you that there are major issues on both sides. Nobody is 100% perfect. Nobody. Even me. There are, some of my fans love me, but they don't like parts of me. I'm either, you know, amazing and Christian and, like, spiritual and blessed, but I'm a whore. You know, or people love, you know, different sides of me and they're like, oh, well, you know what? I can't please everybody, and neither can these presidential candidates. They can't. No one is perfect. But what is important to you? Are you a millionaire and do you have lots and lots of money and do, you know, do you want to keep that money and not pay taxes? Or are you a starving artist like me? And, you know, those hard-earned paychecks do you want to keep? So which candidate would help you in your tax bracket? One of our te presidents is trying to plan five different wars. Okay, do you have children? Who's going to pay for these wars? Who is going to have their children drafted into these wars. I don't have any kids. Honestly, the war thing does not, whatever. Grant it, <laughs> if we go to war, the last time that happened, we were trillion dollars in debt. Because war costs money. I don't believe in war. I don't think we should go to war. I don't think that we should create five different wars so that we can expand America and throw our weight around. I think that's stupid. Or do you want a president that's on your side and helps with the economy and the stability? Without a good economy, there are no jobs. And without a good economy, people are not going out and spending money. It's, yeah, the economy is very important. Which presidential candidate helps you with your economy? Are you a sickly person? Do you have family and relatives that are sick? Is health care important to you? Immigration. Education, these are both topics that are very important. But for me, my biggest thing that I'm really gung-ho about, the biggest thing right now, is human equality. Equal rights to all people. Gay, straight, black, white, old, young, it doesn't matter. Equal rights to all people. I don't believe that I am a second-class citizen. I am a citizen of the United States of America. But I don't have equal rights. And I definitely have a presidential candidate that agrees with me. And there's another candidate that wants to put us back in the dark ages and take away those rights. And what scares me is Hitler had the same idea. He felt that only certain people had rights. And certain people were entitled to things. That's scary. What about abortion? Do you believe in pro-choice or pro-life? These are all things that you need to decide are what, what stance is important to you. Have you ever been raped? Date rape or random rape? Have you ever been a survivor of incest? I have. Thank God I can't get pregnant. What if I did? Would I be forced to keep that child? Again, Putting America back in the Dark Ages. I don't think that that's where I want to live. 
I'm urging you to vote like your life depended on it because, for some of you, it does. Where do you stand on these issues? You need to find out for yourself. I'm not here to tell you, to tell you who to vote for because I can't make that decision for you. But I'm telling you to educate yourself and decide which presidential candidate is on the right path for you and what you believe America should be. Where should we live? You need to find out what presidential candidate stands for things that you believe in and you need to let your voice be heard. The sad thing is that national statistics, only 64% of Americans vote. <sighs> That's a national average. Why? 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 That frustrates me so much. Especially because I know, growing up in the church, that that is really drained into our brain, that we have to vote. Christians are preached every Sunday. And one of the things is, you need to vote. It's your obligation. So those of you that don't go to church, let me tell you, you have to vote. You have to. You have to. Please promise me that you're going to go, if you're not registered to vote, and register right now. You can do it online. Register to vote. You should check out this cute website that I found. www.ownthevote.us O-W-N-T-H-E-V-O-T-E dot U-S Check it out. It's very informative, it's very informational, and it's helping you. Young people... <laughs> Your voice matters. And the shocking thing is, we were raised in families. And our parents always tell us right from wrong. And they tell us their thoughts on a lot of things. And a lot of times, we just kind of start taking their views. But I want you to know that you have your own voice. If your parents are Democrat, you're allowed to vote Republican. And if they're Republican, you're allowed to vote Democrat. It doesn't matter. The reason there's a curtain on that voting booth is so that nobody has to know ever who you voted for. Only you and whoever's counting your ballot. But again, educate yourself. You can also text o the OTV for Own the Vote to RT Vote, which stands for Rock the Vote. And I love that because I remember in the 80s, I think it was, or 90s, um, there's a vivid, vivid picture of Madonna standing there naked in a U.S. flag telling me to vote. Rock the vote. And uh, I died. I wonder if I could find that image. But she, I don't see her doing anything like that anymore, but of course she lives in Britain now. She's British. Um, so of course she's not going to say vote. But, yeah, you have to. This Misty Minute is all about informing you to go vote. Urging you to go vote. Begging you to go vote. But if you're curious my thoughts, and you want to know a little bit more about who I would vote for, I recently did on the 4th of July for a collab channel. I do a collab video every Thursday for Queens of the Week. And in July, we did a 4th of July, Are You Proud to be an American? And I kind of went into, yeah, I'm proud to be an American, and this is why. And I kind of went on a little rampage about being a second-class citizen and not having rights and things like that. And um, I kind of talked about my candidate of who I would vote for. And you might find some of those facts interesting, so please feel free to click here and go to that link. But again, as of right now, we have 43 days left until we have to vote. Please make sure you're registered, and please make sure you're educated on these candidates. Do you want to go back in the Dark Ages and give limited people things? Or do you want to make all people human equal U.S. Americans? It's up to you. Your voice does matter. Your voice should be heard. And with national statistics of 64% of the U.S. Americans voting, really sad. Sad. Please go vote. Loving you, Zizi. Bye.